When it comes time to designing your course page on Thinkific, it can be a little bit challenging to be able to create a course page that is customizable to what you want. And what I mean by that is that you are limited to the type of blocks that you have available in Thinkific, but they are customizable if you know how to manipulate them. So let's have a look at some examples today. Today, I want to show you two different sites that have been built on Thinkific. I would like to show you one that is using all of the blocks in a great way, but then also show you another one that's actually using the same block or the same two blocks over again, but customizing them. Now, both of these courses are courses that I have worked on. They are not my courses. Uh, so I will provide the link below for you if you are interested. I am not an affiliate for these courses. It's purely because I love to share the love. So uh, if you wanted to know more about them, click on the links below in the description to directly go to those courses. And once again, I'm not an affiliate for them, just sharing the love. So let's first take a look at this course here, which is all about being able to manage your ADHD within 30 days. Now, this is by an expert who has ADHD herself and has learned along the journey and it's been lovely working with her. And she actually built this course in five weeks from planning, from not having any idea of what the curriculum will be like until launching and having signups, five weeks. Uh, it was incredible. So this is now, we're on the 22nd day of this 30 day course. But what I wanted to show you here is this web page. Now this web page is using all of the blocks of Thinkific. So you can see how nice and clean it is uh, while it's still being creative, while it's still eye catching and captivating. Now, all of this is within Thinkific. It's just using the, the builders, right? It's just using, if we go back here, it's using all of these blocks, all of these different sections. So when you go into add section, you have all of these sections here. Now, they're not very customizable. For example, frequently asked questions. You can only have a, a question and a response in there. And same with social proof here, that these social proofs, there's only a way, for example, when I click on social proof, that I add a testimonial and that testimonial is the author, the avatar and the text. So there's not much manipulation you can make with these blocks. Likewise, when you want to put a curriculum in, the curriculum pools like it says a smart section, it pulls in information directly from your think of it course. So a lot of these pull in information from your course and you cannot really manipulate them. In saying that, let's take a look at a different course page that uses one or two blocks, but manipulates each of them to create something that's more, I guess, creative, but it's more custom. And we built this to match an already existing web page that was designed on Kajabi. OK, so we're mapping something that Kajabi has a much more powerful web page builder tool than what Thinkific does. So you can imagine the different types of blocks we had um, and how we then recreated that in Thinkific. So let's take a look. So here we are here on this web page. This web page or this course is all about learning how to wholesale real estate. Now, this goes through the step by step, as we can see here, the step by step guide on beginning in wholesaling. Again, this um, was a very great course that was created very, very quickly. There's tons of videos. I'm talking hundreds of videos that help you go through uh, starting in wholesaling and everything you need to prepare to build your business in wholesaling. Again, I'm not an affiliate for them. I just love what they've done. And the link to both of these courses are down below in the description. But you can see here that this is very different. These blocks are very different. Um, we don't have the same option in, in regards to Thinkific. When you have backgrounds, you can only choose between background one and background two, which are two different colors. So we've used um, HTML editing to change the background. As you can see, we've used three different colors at a minimum. We've used white, black, and blue, which are the brand colors. We've also got different colored text. We've got different um, columns here. We have uh, lines through text. We have different style buttons than what are the buttons of um, the website. So we've changed all of these around. Now the way we've done that, if we come over to the site builder here, what we have done is used the text and media a lot, but we've also used the image and text. 
So you can see here we've only used two different blocks. And if I jump down to, for example, if I jump down to this one here, this is the section here at the top that says want proof. Now this is a background with a video and all we've done, if I click on this, is we've used text and media. And in the text and media, I've actually put the image in here with the text on top of it. Now the text is in white, so we cannot really see that. But what I have done is I've used the HTML to design it the way that I want it to show. Now, if you don't know HTML, that's perfectly fine. There are plenty of online tools that you can use. One that I like using is online HTML editor. And what I like about this is that it's very easy to build here in this area here. OK, so I can build whatever I like here and then I can move over to the HTML source code to then copy all of that over. So when I'm building it, it's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So whatever I build in here is what I get. So I can do tables, I can use images, I can use videos. Now, if you are building on a HTML editor like this, you may not want to add in the images and the videos yet because you want to add them in Thinkific. So maybe just a placeholder for them will work. So what I mean by that is that when I come back to the WYSIWYG here in Thinkific, so I click on code view again and I come back to see what it looks like. We cannot see any of the text because it's white text, but here we can add in videos. We can add in images. When we add in these videos, they're, built, they're pulling in the video from our video library in Thinkific. OK, so we we wouldn't put a video here in this tool because we want it from Thinkific. So that's what I mean by just put a placeholder, which means make sure that there is a space to put your video in. Likewise, if I come back here and we continue to go down this page, we can see that there is an area such as this text here. Now, this text again is text and media. We haven't put in any image, we haven't put any videos in, but we have built this text in a way that it's using different uh, fonts, different colors, some are bold, some are not bold, and we're also putting a line through the text. All of this is built in this WYSIWYG. So remember, if I highlight all of this using Control A, and then I copy it all using Control C, and I come over here, and I go into this HTML source, and I paste using Control V, then we can see this text here. So you can start to build in here and then copy it all over. So to copy it over, you click on HTML source and do the same thing just backwards. So you click on this, control A to select it all, control C to copy it, and then come back over here and press control V to paste. Um, once you've pasted it, then just click on the code view again and click on save down the bottom. Now I haven't made any changes, so I don't have to save anything. So that is a very high level overview of how you can start to manipulate or start to play around and be creative with the blocks that do exist in Thinkific. OK, those blocks are there, but you can play around with the HTML code to make them more customizable. Also, you can use HTML code in different areas within Thinkific. And I have got a previous video that you can check out here on how to actually go into the header titles and the header subtitles and type in HTML in there when you don't have this WYSIWYG, which means you don't have that button to click on to see the code view. So even though you don't have code view, you can still type HTML in different areas within Thinkific to make it even more customizable. Now, each week I do put a video here on my YouTube channel all about course creation. So if you do have any questions about this video or if you do have any questions about course creation overall, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to create a video for you. And I would love if you would subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button as well so that you are notified of all of the course creation videos that are posted. Until next time, happy course creating.